Hey everybody, it's Terry with Nation's Travels. Today me and Melissa are down here in Panama City. And I'm not talking about Panama City Beach, I'm talking about the old town of Panama City. And uh, we came through this town last year, but we did not make a video. But uh, today we thought we'd come back, walk through and uh, film some of it and let y'all see what it looks like down here. So uh, we want y'all to come and uh, join us. So let's take a look around. I did my intro there standing in front of the Center for the Arts that's here in uh, Panama City. And uh, right now they are just playing art from their local students. Here's a big advertising sign here on the side of this building says to eat at Tom's since 1981. And it looks like at one time maybe it was a hardware store. And then across the street from that you see the old Martin Theater which last year when we came through here, they were in the process of remodeling inside. And when I get over there, I'll try to look in and see if they, they've made any progress that we can see uh, through the windows. They do have it decorated up on Florida, uh, like I guess you'd call it with the uh, pink flamingos. And it seems to be a theme. I can see there's flamingos on the uh, store across the way there, which <clears throat> the name of that store is called the History Class Brewing Company, and it looks like uh, there's some people outside uh, enjoying the day. And if you notice, there's an airplane up on the roof, and I don't know what significance that has, but uh, we may come across it as we're going through town here. here they got a walk through, a uh, little trail through some, uh, I guess, floating inner tubes here. They are having a a uh, chalk art festival going on down here that they have in the beginning of March each year. And they say there are two footprints here to stand here and look. And you can see this is uh, seemingly coming out of the, uh, of the sidewalk here. That's really pretty cool looking. But anyway, there's more of these around town. I'll try to show you some of them. All right, Malisa and I are gonna walk through the uh, little or, or actually, <laughs> Melissa's excited about it. She's actually running through the. Uh... Okay, I see some more chalk art over here. What, what is it? This looks like a pelican sitting on the back of an alligator. That is a beautiful old uh, Martin Theater over there. Here at the side of Tom's, I'm going to take it around the front and let you see what it looks like over there. Here's uh, Tom's. Looks like a little uh, eatery in here. They do have some tables there in the front and on the sidewalk out here. Uh, downtown Panama looks like it's still a very active old downtown. I like it. There's a little shop here. It's called Accents uh, Home Decor and Gifts. And right next to it, there is an escape room. Escape Manor, Panama City. Here's a big building that uh, is closed up right now. But uh, while there's no business in here, they, somebody still came and they painted uh, onto the windows, which is good. It's still decorates the downtown area. I like to see this open back up in the Sun Street. That building over there is called the Mustard Seed. When I get over there, I'll see what it is. And it's followed by a arcade, and there's a big welcome to downtown. The sign says established 1909. There's a store called Jute and Pong, and it's a uh, home uh, decor and gift store. Then, then a more boutique. Looks like a women's shop there. A lot of spring looking uh, dresses and items. There's a board and brush art studio here. And beside that is what's called the bookish boutique which uh, looks like a apparel, gifts, and books, what it says on the door. 
just noticed the old 55 Chevrolet just rolled down through town there. I imagine a lot of those will come down through here over the yeah, years. This downtown is really very active. And we had come to my, uh, Panama City Beach a lot in the past, but we never came over to the old part of town. I didn't even know this existed until last year. This big impressive building over here is the uh, city of Panama City City Hall. We have a furniture store here on the outlet, and it seems to be a recurring theme. Uh, I don't know if it's because of the chalk art festival going on, but a lot of the uh, windows in downtown have uh, drawings and chalk on the windows right now. Here's another side of that furniture store. Uh, a nice fancy office chair there. Next we come to Leet's Music, which looks like a, uh, a instrument store. I see they're advertising a lot of uh, Fender guitars here on their display in the window. They do have an old piano set up out here on the sidewalk with a sign that says, Play Me. There's Main Street Antiques over across the street. I'll try to look in the window as I go by over there in, in a moment. The, I guess, Goldish uh, building over there says uh, Randy Johnson Art Gallery. And then beside it is Elegant Endeavors Antique Emporium. And of course, no town would not be complete without a general, Dollar General uh, these days, it seems like. We have a shop here called the Bead Gallery, which looks like a uh, boutique. And beside it is another little shop called the Late Bloomer Flower Shop. And there's Melissa over across the street. She's ran off and started filming without me. This building with the big painting on the side is the United Way of Northwest Florida. And it says, Growing the Seeds of Change. And they've uh, painted a vine there. It looks like flowers are uh, sprouting from it. The First Baptist Church here in Panama occupies that corner over there. And down below it is Channel 13 uh, ABC affiliate here in uh, Panama City. As we were driving into town, uh, one of the first things we passed was this city of Panama City downtown sign here. They've got up with the uh, flower bed inside. And there's also another one directly across the street over there. Okay, I just crossed the street, so here's a better look at that other one over here. On the side of this Ocean Oriental Market, they've got a lot of murals painted down the side here. I see some dolphins and what appears to be a pelican. And I'm not sure about this one. Let me get a better look at this. This looks like some type of bear wearing a headband. And I don't know if uh, that is a, a karate suit or what he's wearing there, but that's very unusual. There's the pelican. And uh, I see they have Looks like swimmers and a frog down here on the end, and also a rabbit. Uh, very colorful display down through here. This Ocean Oriental Market here is a uh, little eatery, and uh, beside it you have, um, if I, I don't know if I'm saying this right, Nervig Travel. Um, different travel brochures here in the windows. Next place we come to is uh, Maddie's, which is a Mexican restaurant. Again, a lot of chalk, chalk and art in the windows. And here's the infamous Dollar General, General. Now this elegant Endeavors antique shop looks like it is closed down now. But it looks like at one time it was the G.C. Murphy Company. I don't know if that was a department store or what that was at one time. There's the art ga gallery that I showed you from across the street there. Uh, I see they have some paintings and looks like some stained glass that they're displaying here in the windows. And here's Main Street Antique. And I gotta admit, the front of this building is really 
uh, neat looking. They've got it all flowered up. This next building I'm coming to is called Dance Life uh, Dance Studio. Now, I don't know if we're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day or, or what, but all the uh, mannequins in the window they have displayed in green. There's a shot of that Leeds music from across the streets where I, where I walked by a few moments ago. And this city hall is kind of impressive the way it got, got built up. It looks like it's probably pretty new or much newer than some of the old, other buildings in town anyway. I'm coming up on the old building now. It says on the sign above Gulf Coast Aquarium, but it's not that now, uh, I don't think. But it's closed up, but it looks like maybe during Halloween they may have utilized this for some type of uh, haunted house down here. And if you're not going to use it this year, might as well just leave everything up for next year, I would say. But at one time, this store may have been the jewel box because that's what's in the tile down here in front of the uh, entrance. Next, you come to the uh, House of Henry, which I think it could be an Irish pub uh, in there. Now I'm standing in front of the building that says, Welcome to Downtown. And uh, it does say it was established in 1909, but it looks like this was an old building at one time. But now it looks like it is actually a walkway to go through to a uh, park in the center back. And that is right beside the arcade, Point Break Arcade it's called. Now I'm in front of the uh, mustard seed, which looks like it might be part boutique, part home decor. Uh, they do have a kissing booth out front for 25 cents, but nobody's manning the kissing booth right now, so. But anyway, when you look inside, it looks like they have a, uh, a little, maybe short order deli section or something over there. I don't see any signage for what this building is right now. I don't know if it's being used, but they do have a sign here that says, start each day with a grateful mind. They actually have a little eatery called The Place downtown. And uh, today's special looks like chicken cordon blue sandwich with fries or chips. It is 12.50. Uh, it must get busy now. And I see they got a waiting area out here with benches. And Little Rascals is the name of this uh, yellow building I'm coming up to. Let me see if I can find out what it is. It's, it says billiards, so I guess it was a pool hall. And over here it says Sweet Bailey's Bakery. And now I'm over here in front of the old Martin Theater. And I just love these old theaters. The signs, it just brings back a different time. But this is one of the better examples I have seen from the towns I've been in. This one is really, really something to see. I really like this. They have a couple of old uh, ticket windows here where you would get your tickets years ago. And I wish I could see this at night because you can see all the neon uh, tubing here to light it up uh, during the night. But I'm going to walk around the other side. They, they told us last year they re were refurbishing it, and you can actually look through one of the windows on the other side. Here's the theater from the other side here, just off the sidewalk. Here's some more of the uh, sidewalk art. And in front of all of them, they have a couple of feet that are drawn on the ground is where you're supposed to stand to get the best view. And it looks like a bird uh, out of its cage there. It's really neat. I don't think my camera will pick any of it up, but I can see tarps and everything still on the inside there. And it looks like they may have done some artwork on the walls inside of the uh, theater in there. And I hope that even though I can't really see it through the camera, I hope sometimes you, you can see things later on that you can't see on my screen. Here's 
some more sidewalk art and they're advertising Secret Garden Oakland Terrace uh, and it seems like there's an exhibit taking place March 13th, 14th and 15th but that is I guess this is it's art and an advertisement both. Here's one of a frog on lily pads uh, looks like it's surrounded by flowers and it says uh, my beautiful mess across the street over you can see there's a place called the press which is a uh, little coffee shop and eatery and a lot of seating outside the people are out enjoying the day there's more artwork here on the sidewalk but i think the rain last night got most of it it looks like but i do see what looks like a purple frog maybe at one time. Okay, I've crossed over the street now. I'm back over uh, about where we started, where, where we started at the uh, art center. But there is a, a collectible shop here. I see James Dean and uh, Marilyn Monroe in the window. I see a lot of old pictures and magazines. I'm looking at some of the more of the artwork here on the sidewalk and this one looks like a woman that's carrying a large bird of some type from where I'm standing is it a flamingo okay oh there's a there's a picture over here that part is missing it looks like a little porcupine looking inside they painted a mural with a lot of uh, dolphin heads on it looks like here and this is right in front of the uh, History Class Brewing Company. And again, I hadn't seen anything that explains the uh, airplane up there. I really like that archway and the stairwell that goes up through here, though. It looks really cool. Another angle of the art center over here. And behind me, it says Dokin Report over the door, but this is a very ornate old building. I guess, I guess you'd say it has a lot of charm, but again, the stairway leading from the sidewalk up to upstairs. It's really a, a neat looking old building if you enjoy old buildings like I do. And again, more artwork on the uh, History Class Brewing Company windows. This sign is going into the establishment here. It says Smile Town Big Heart. And they even have artwork up on the uh, ceiling. And we have some more sidewalk art here. It looks like a skull uh, with golden wings and there's a heart coming out the top. And there's the window display of Sage, which I, again I think is a Women's Boutique. Some more artwork that looks like it's almost washed away from the rain. Thistle and Thorn. Uh, looks like it might be a, uh, a bar of some type. And then the Craft Beer Emporium is next door over there. Someone else has this uh, skull theme going on. And it looks like this one has a mohawk. This building that houses the Craft Beer Emporium, uh, it says it was built in 1914, and it says it was first, first used as a, uh, a movie theater for silent pictures, and it would seat, uh, let's see, 375, and the mission was five to 10 cents. So it's uh, changed purpose over the years and I see they have a mural on the side of it also. Yeah, they have a mural that has uh, flowers on one end and it shows the, the bees uh, gathering pollen, I guess, and then returning to the hive, as you can see there, and you can see honey dripping out of the uh, honeycomb. They have another mural on the side of this building of a sea turtle, including some fish and jellyfish, it looks like. They have another little eatery here on the corner on one of the back streets. And I walked up to the door to see what the name of the business was and it actually says Speedy Car Wash on the uh, door. Here's another area set up with uh, chairs and stuff beside that uh, brewing company. This, this area has a lot of outside uh, seating 
for socializing. I got some upstairs uh, balconies here over Millie's, which looks like it's a uh, eating establishment. If you, as you keep going down the sidewalk, you just keep seeing more and more artwork, uh, even though the rains have washed a lot of it away. They do have a little green area, a little park here in the middle of town, and uh, have a fountain over the middle. And it goes through, crosses the street, and I guess it goes, I guess probably two blocks deep in there. On one of the side streets coming down here, I see a relief skateboard and a couple of law firms down through here. Somebody has decided to add some flamingos to the fountain out here. I, I see some more up there on the upper level. They have this display here in the park that says flock to downtown, downtown Panama City, Florida. Across the street there I see C and, and G, uh, sporting goods, hunting and, hunting and fishing supplies. It looks like there's a history museum over there. And I see this establishment over here on one street back. You, you can see the back of the movie theater over there, but it says Weirdos Welcome. But I don't know the name of the place, but it looks like it might be a eating yeah, show. I guess the name of the place is called Weirdo, and it says Weird is Good. And I see they cut an old uh, utility truck, uh, the two boxes off of it and made fl uh, flower planters out of them out here, which is pretty uh, pretty unique. And they're decorating with uh, old cars that are painted up. Homemade uh, chandeliers look like they were made out of bicycle rims and uh, chicken wire. I see a lot of 55 gallon drums. But anyway, it's a pretty neat looking place here. Wow, when you walk in here, it's just an overload for your senses. The ceiling is decorated, the walls are decorated. Uh, they have a menu board over there with little square signs. I see an alien. They have a wall of old TVs here with a, a football helmet and a straw hat on top of that. This is really unusual. I, I didn't expect to find this. It looks like an alien over the door and I hear strange music. I have a lot of artwork on the, cell, on the wall over there and it is for sale. They even have an old uh, phone in here. They do sell t-shirts here. And I guess the size you need is just in one of these uh, milk crates here. This is their outside seating area here, which as you can see is all decorated up also. Looks like they've made makeshift flowers out of uh, bowling balls right down through this aisle here. And there's the bowling pins that they're using also. And the sign says, we are the weirdos, creators, collectors, the dreamers of dreams, movers, shakers, and lovers of weird things. Yeah, that's really cool. And where you go up to order right there, it looks like a giant mouth down there that's open. And there it looks like a skeleton watering the flower. Welcome. Their picnic tables are uh, painted and decorated in different uh, styles. Some of their guardrails they got up here says Love PC, which is Panama City. And here's the front of the sporting goods store. Now I'm in front of the Bay County History Museum. Here's some signage from Dante's Inferno that says you must be uh, 50 inches tall to ride this ride. 
These are some songs from the old uh, Miracle Strip Amusement Park. Old stove, which would have been used back in the day, and an old washing machine. We have some more photos here in the uh, Panama City in the early days, including the uh, Miracle Strip amusement park. It tells a little bit of the history of the area. I don't know if I've ever seen that style of barber chair there before. But well, it's neat that they have the kids' chair too that they can sit up there. I did, I did a quick walk through there that museum. I didn't really look at things very much. Uh, they close at four o'clock and it's almost four now, but it is free. So if you're ever in Panama City, you want to look at some of the history of uh, the town and, and of the old amusement park that used to be here, uh, they have a lot of information about it. I have a lot of other buildings down this street, this street but I'm, I'm thinking this one must be an eating establishment because of all the tables up front, but I don't see people, so maybe they open uh, later in the evening at five or six or something. Yeah, here's a sign down here. It's called the Trigo San Francisco Style Deli. Actually, I was wrong about their hours. They were actually open this morning from 10 till two so they've already closed for the day. Here's another impressive build here on the end. It, uh, I don't see any signage on it, but they do have a big clock and a flying uh, American flag on top. And across the street from that, I see this old brick building. It looks really old and it's got an unusual shape to it, but I have no idea what it uh, was back in the day. I found out what the old uh, building was. It was the uh, bank of uh, Panama City and it says it was the first brick building in Panama City and was completed in 1911 and housed the bank. And I don't know if it came back years later and added this courtyard area to it here that's uh, got a gate up or if that was part of the original structure but I see the old brick but it looks like maybe years later they came back with new brick to give it maybe a more modern look. But, uh, but it looks like the brick on the right, which are very light, are more machine than these clay bricks right here. So there, there's definitely a difference in the brick. Okay, we're leaving town and going out toward the bay. Hotel Indigo. This is the marina. That is a nice hotel. Don't you think? Yeah, it is a nice looking. Very nice. This looks like a nice place to eat. Harrison's Kitchen and Bar. Yeah, it's around four. We actually rode through here about two hours ago and there were a lot more cars here. Sorry about that, the air came on. So you can drive out here to the bay and 
it says Marin, so I'm thinking you might be able to put it in your boat out here somewhere. And sorry about if the camera's jostling around. It's actually dirt and gravel out here next to the uh, pier. And it looks like a few people are out here uh, fishing off the end out here. And this is only maybe three blocks from town maybe, but we're very close to town. You can walk down here easily. And there's a big building here on the right that's round and we don't really know what that building is. We didn't see any signage or anything on it. So I don't know if it's still in use right now or not. But anyway, there's some other side streets that we didn't go down here in Panama City. Uh, but it's definitely worth coming and visiting sometime if you like old towns. And the movie theater here was one of my favorites that I have seen. It's got a lot of neon on it and I bet it looks really good at night. <laughs>